So hello and welcome back to this channel. I am trying my best to be consistent over here. And today we are discussing the top five highest paying AI roles in 2026. Three things before getting started. First of all, I have not considered the entire job market for this particular video. We are specifically talking about the job roles in the AI landscape and over there as well, the top five highest paying ones. Okay. Secondly, I have collected and curated this entire information on my screen. So you would notice me uh, looking on the screen and then on the camera back and forth. So do not mind it, please. And third, for each and every job role, which we are going to cover, I am going to talk on different aspects. First would be what is the day to day responsibility of the engineer in that job role? Okay. Secondly, why that skill pays? Okay. What is the impact that you're making for the business? Third is the skill set needed? What what tech stack you need to learn to get into that field, what experience you need to have. Third is the top hiring domains. So basically the domains where companies are mostly hiring for that specific job role. Okay, it will help you to have a better job hunting strategy. And fifth and lastly, the salary. For the salary aspect, I have completely relied on the resources like Glassdoor, Ambition Box, and Indeed. And I'll try to give you an average out number over here so that we don't get into any argument. All right, with that understanding, let's proceed and cover the first job role, which is an AI research scientist. This is the level where you hit the highest ceiling in this AI landscape. Okay, this is the highest, I mean, level where you work as an AI engineer, but the entry is the most difficult, obviously, due to obvious reasons. Let's talk about what do you do over here. So AI research scientists work heavily creating or significantly improving the models. For example, if you are using GPT 4.1, then we get the update of 5.1 or from 4.0, we get the update of 4.1. So these updates, there are definitely few brilliant minds who are working on these developments. These are the AI research scientists, okay? They work heavily on designing new model architectures or improving the existing one, uh, running large scale experiment, and training and evaluating the model on massive data set. They are the ones who publish research papers, patents, and uh, they are responsible for internal research in an organization. Okay. Secondly, this job role pays you so much because the word directly impacts the core IP. Now, what is core IP? See, IP stands for intellectual property. Okay. For example, GPT 5.1 is the intellectual property of OpenAI. Okay. So their work directly impacts the core IP and there are very few people who can do it really well. Like you can imagine there could be hundreds and thousands of people who claim to be an AI expert or something, but only few people, only a cream layer among that crowd will be able to do this thing, obviously, due to obvious reasons. And a single breakthrough can be worth millions, okay? Just try to imagine uh, the person who created this breakthrough of GPT 2.5, okay? That was literally a huge big breakthrough in the field or in the innovation field of AI, okay? So really hope that you get the idea why this job pays so much, okay? Let's proceed and talk about the skill set which is needed. Obviously, you need to be extremely strong at machine learning theory, probability, linear algebra, deep learning architecture, uh, and then complex architectures like BERT, transformers. You need to be really good at libraries like PyTorch, JAX, TensorFlow. You need to be really good at distributed training, uh, data sharding, evaluation, research thinking, experimentation. All of these things are required. So you can imagine this is not a beginner friendly job role. You need an really good experience over here in order to get into this specific job role. In fact, personally, honestly saying, I'm also nowhere close to this. And although my vision is something else, but let's not go there. Top hiring domains for this job roles. First of all, AI research labs like OpenAI, DeepMind, Anthropic, they actively hire for this kind of people. Then big tech R&D teams like for Microsoft or Google, obviously they also hire. Then advanced fintech and quant firms. Now, if you do not know about quant firms, you really need to go to the internet and read about it. Okay, quant firms are actually the enterprise says or companies or organizations who pays engineers the most and then obviously healthcare and scientific research labs as well so this was the list of hiring domains if we talk about the salary aspect let's focus in india easily you get between a range of 50 to 70 lpa okay easily if you talk in usa then this ranges between 180 to 400k it can definitely go beyond that 100 percent but again i'm trying to give you an average range let's quickly move to the next job role which is a data scientist or machine learning engineer why this job role pays or what do you do there actually? So this particular role turns data into production intelligence. So basically you are responsible for building, training and evaluating machine learning models. You convert business problems into machine learning pipelines. You deploy models into real products, which means obviously you need to have some understanding of MLOps as well. And you continuously monitor the model performance, the data drifting issue, these things. Okay. You collaborate with product, backend, infra team, product manager, SRE, everyone. Why this job role pays so much? Because all Almost each and every company needs machine learning. Secondly, ML 
system directly drive revenue, growth or efficiency or you can say cost cutting. It sits at the interaction of data, engineering and product. If you have seen a Venn diagram, it sits at the Venn diagram or the intersection area of this entire realm. What skill set is needed to get into this field? Well, you obviously need to be very good at Python, SQL, then classical machine learning, deep learning, feature engineering. And obviously in order to do all of these things, you need to be good at maths, calculus, linear algebra, probability, statistics, and then you need to have basic deployment knowledge, knowledge of uh, cloud services, statistics and experimentation, all of these things. So which are the domains hiring? For this job rule, well, again, big tech or SaaS companies, fintech and banking. Personally, I also work in financial institution. Then e-commerce and edtech. I also work in edtech and healthcare and analytics companies as well. All of these domains, companies across these domains are actively hiring and they will continue to hire for data scientists in the future as well. And for sure, in the year 2026 as well, this is going to be in trend. Okay. If we talk in terms of salary in India, it easily ranges between 15 LPA to 25 LPA. Again, depending on your experience. There could be a data scientist who is making like 6 LPA per year or maybe 50 LPA. Okay, but I tried to give you a decent range of salary. If you talk in terms of USA salary range, then it ranges somewhere between 20 to 250K USD. Let's talk about the next job role, which is MLOps engineer or AI architect. So previously we talked about data scientists and I said you need to have a basic uh, deployment understanding. But here you are specializing in that niche. So basically here you will be responsible to deploy and serve the machine learning or Gen AI models. Doesn't matter, you get it from data scientists or you get it from AI research scientists. You will be responsible for the deployment. You will be responsible to design the ML system architect to optimize cost, latency, performance, to manage the CI CD pipeline, to monitor drifting, failure, outage, all of these things. In case you are wondering that, okay, this seems fascinating, where to learn this, then on my channel itself, I have hosted a free playlist on MLOps and I also run a very affordable MLOps course as well, okay, the, which is a paid course. Now, I leave it completely on you. That which one you want to choose but yes you may have this question that what perks the paid course has so over there i have covered more tools projects and obviously the diversity of topic is more over there okay the skill set needed to get into this field is obviously uh, a solid knowledge around cloud services across all platforms like aws gcp azure you need to be really good at uh, microservices docker kubernetes for distributed computing managing ci cd pipelines monitoring using tools like prometheus and grafana and model serving system design and reliability all of these things would be required as a skill set if you are an aspiring mlops engineer the top domains which are hiring for this job role are again cloud and platform companies mostly then enterprise ai teams fintech and SaaS companies and large gen ai startups if we talk about salary then in india it ranges somewhere between 20 to 40 lakhs again this is an average range it can go anywhere beyond or beneath this but with a decent experience, let's say above two to three years, you can easily fall within this particular range. Let's discuss the next job role, which is a Gen AI developer. This one is the fastest growing in 2026. Okay. If you're someone who does not have any computer science background, any machine learning background, mathematics background, data science background, you have just learned Python and you are figuring out that with your programming abilities, how can you get into the field of Gen AI? How quickly you can penetrate into this particular field? This is the answer for you. Gen AI developer. Okay. Fastest growing among all the job roles. What you will be doing over over here, you will be responsible for building LLM powered applications. You are not responsible to build LLM. You will be responsible for LLM powered applications, applications which are powered by LLMs. Okay. You will be responsible for designing rack pipelines for private data, for creating agentic workflows using tools like MCP, uh, libraries like Langgraph, and then integrating Gen AI into existing software system. It could be an application. It could be a website. Optimizing prompts, cost, latency, reliability, all of these things. If you want to have a detailed roadmap for this particular job role. I have recently published a video on my channel. I will try to provide you a card somewhere on the screen right now. Try to click it if you find it and uh, watch that roadmap video. Once you are done watching this one, what skill set are needed to get into this job role? Obviously, you need to be really strong at either Python or JavaScript. Personally, I belong to the Python group. And along with that, you need to be good at LLM APIs, open source models. You need to be good at local deployment, RAG, agentic AI, workflows, Langchain, Langgraph, MCP, 
APIs, then model serving frameworks like uh, Fast API, Flask, or uh, let's say Streamlit. And basically, the system thinking uh, ability is something that we need to have. The top domains who are hiring for this particular job role are again SaaS and product startup. Okay, they would not care about building their own GPT 5.1 from scratch. Instead, they would want to use the API services of these brilliant models to develop their own smart applications or services. Then enterprise Gen AI teams, uh, internal tooling and automation teams, or AI first startups. These are the domains who are actively hiring for this particular job role. This is the area where you can penetrate easily, even if you're a fresher or professional with one year experience, and you can easily expect a salary ranging between 10 to 25 LPA. I'm talking about at the initial stage, like within one to three years, or let's say one to four years of experience, not limited to this range. And in terms of USA salary range, again, it can go somewhere between 100 to uh, let's say 200 or 220 K USD. These are not made up numbers. Again, as I told you at the beginning, I have done some research across all the different platforms. I have run a comparison and then I'm giving this number to you. Let's move to the next and final job role, which is AI product manager. Okay. Now this would be for someone who wants to create high influence and leverage this job rule. Okay, basically I'll explain. So basically over here, this is what that you will be doing. You will define the AI product vision and roadmap, first of all, for the tech team, for the developers team. Translate business problems into AI requirement. Okay, so when you talk to business as a developer, they don't tell you that we need this API, we need this architecture, we need this service. They don't tell you these things. They tell you that there is a process which takes a lot of manual effort, which takes a lot of uh, money investment and we want to automate this. We want to remove this process and you need someone who can translate that that business requirement into AI requirement. Okay, this is how you AI can be leveraged to use this. You're getting my point. You could be someone who is a Gen AI developer who is really, really good at conversation. And then you can communicate all of these things with the business directly. But there are companies who would hire a dedicated AI product manager. A part of this, you will be responsible to decide where AI adds real value. You would get to work with machine learning and Gen AI teams on feasibility. You would measure the impact using metrics and experiments. And you will be responsible to balance between cost, risk and user experience. So basically you work as a bridge between the business team and basically the dev or AI team. And in order to do that, you need to have the understanding from both the worlds. Okay. So this is the tricky part over here. This job rule pays you because the AI products are expensive to build and you would not want to waste your time making mistakes. Wasting time means wasting money, wrong decisions, waste millions of dollars. Strong AI product manager aligns tech with business outcome and this is their main uh, you call it USP this is why they are paid okay the skill set needed to get into this job role is product management fundamentals first of all secondly machine learning and gen ai literacy not the working understanding or deep mathematical intuition just the literacy is enough okay so that if the developer is telling you that i'm using this api or doing local deployment to use a 7 billion parameter model you should be able to understand what he is doing and you should be able to communicate that effectively with the business team without throwing any jargons at them okay so these are basically the skill set needed to do this okay let's talk about the domains hiring for this specific job role these are big tech companies again uh, any small enterprise would not choose to hire a product manager and spend money over there. And a part of this SaaS and enterprise, big enterprise software companies, fintech and healthcare companies and AI first startups. The salary for this job role is also quite high, somewhere between 30 to 50 LPA in India and somewhere between 150 to 350 K USD in USA. Now we have covered all the five job roles and we may have this question in our mind that each and every job rule looks lucrative. Which one is suitable for me? So let me help you with that with the finishing note. If you want to reach the highest ceiling in terms of salary or position, okay, then AI research scientist. And obviously in order to do that, you will have to be determined and dedicated to spend a good amount of time, effort, energy. Obviously, this is not going to happen over six or eight months. If you want to take the safest long-term path, then you would go for a machine learning engineer or a data scientist or let's say an AI architect. You can prepare for that within one to two years by spending a significant amount of time and effort and you will remain relevant for a very long term. If you want to get into the fastest entry and growth route, okay, in that case, Gen AI developer will be your correct roadmap, the most suitable roadmap for you. Again, as I said, recently I have published a detailed roadmap on Gen AI development on my channel. Feel free to check that out. Using that roadmap, you can get into the field of AI and later on, once you feel that you have settled with a job, you can choose to do like data science or you can choose to take any of these different routes. And lastly, if you're someone who is not at all comfortable with coding heavy job and you are looking more into the leadership job role, which now I feel that I'm getting interested for that, then the AI product manager will be the most suitable option for you. So really hope 
that you found uh, these insights helpful and I was able to help you choose the most suitable option for you. Let me know your thoughts below. What do you think about all of this? If you feel that there is any specific job role which I missed, let me know below in the comment section. Now few people will come and type prompt engineer. Uh, up to you. Okay, let me know and I will see you in the next video.